Have you ever wondered how therapy dogs are trained to be so comforting and obedient? It's almost like they're perfect. I have always wondered how they were able to do so many important jobs, even though they are just dogs. I interviewed an expert on therapy dogs named Carly Godemer from the Good Dog Foundation. This foundation finds and trains therapy dogs. Some therapy dog breeds are golden retrievers, corgis, poodles, labradors, and pugs. These dogs are obedient because they are trained in a certain way. They are comforting because they are selected for their friendliness and behavior. These dogs are very commonly chosen because of how friendly they are. For example, golden retrievers are not shy around strangers. They are actually very friendly with them. Therapy dogs need to learn how to stay calm, not growl, and be patient. It takes work to learn all of this. They need to learn not to be clumsy and not to display food or toy aggression. It takes at least four sessions of an hour and a half each. Therapy dogs are mostly trained to help and support people in need. They need to provide relief to those in anxiety-provoking situations, bring comfort to those who are grieving or lonely, and are often used in schools. Some therapy dogs are even used to help with medical issues. For therapy dogs to make kids happy, they need to show off some impressive tricks. The dogs are trained to know how to sit, roll over, lay down, and spin on command. Some dogs already do this all the time, but therapy dogs need to learn how to be loving to everyone around them. That means they can't jump on someone or growl at a stranger. They need to learn that because everyone that a therapy dog cheers up is usually a stranger to them. Even if children are being noisy, therapy dogs can't act mean or aggressively around them. Dogs have to be trained to be a therapy dog. They also have to be well behaved. If they are not well behaved, the handlers will have a hard time training the dog and getting the dog to do things for them. Not every dog can be a therapy dog. They are select based on their temperament and behavior. Therapy dogs also need to be instinctively heartwarming. They need to love all humans. Being very healthy is also important. They cannot be anxious about anything. They should be confident and unafraid. Usually, dogs cannot be under a year old to be therapy dogs because they're not suitable for the job. Therapy dogs need to be trained to be calm and obedient. Sometimes, a puppy can't be calm or obedient. Dogs under a year old might also not have the proper focus. They are only puppies. If a dog is under a year old, it won't be able to follow basic rules like not growling at people and not jumping on people either. Usually, puppies are not very patient. To be a therapy dog, you need to be patient at all times. A dog under a year old is just not patient enough to be a therapy dog. Handlers are one of the reasons dogs become therapy dogs. Without them, dogs could not be trained to be therapy dogs. That made me wonder exactly what a handler needs to do to make a dog become a therapy dog. Handlers need to know how to be very friendly with their dog. If handlers are not friendly with the dog, the dog will not like them, and they will not listen to them. Handlers also need to know how to have good physical and mental health. Handlers will not be able to train their dog the proper way if they don't have good physical and mental health. Handlers need to know how to socialize with their dogs. Handlers should know that every time they interact with their dog, they are learning something new. Even if the dog does not walk the right way, a handler must never yank on the leash. A therapy dog's tolerance levels are based on how well the handler manages the dog. Sometimes a handler needs a mentor to help them learn how to be a handler. Therapy dogs need breaks because they need a quiet place to rest, just like humans. They need breaks from people touching and playing with them all the time. Dogs do socialize a lot, especially therapy dogs. When humans run around and socialize a lot, they get tired and need breaks. 
that means therapy dogs also get tired and need breaks. They live life like a normal dog that you would have as a pet. Even though they know so many tricks and skills, does not mean they are not normal dogs. They also need to minimize stress. When a therapy dog sleeps and goes on walks, you should think of that as the break that they take every day. As you probably already guessed, therapy dogs are amazing. It is crazy how many things they need to learn and how much time they spend on their awesome jobs. Even though therapy dogs are only dogs, they help people so much. If therapy dogs were not here to help, people would have more anxiety than usual. What do you think we would do without therapy dogs?